I'm going to be honest with you. I have never taken North Korea seriously. And the reason is that they're not very advanced militarily and um, they are barely a nuclear power and um, they're small and um, I guess I don't realize how much they hate us. And so I also don't understand their their cult like tendencies where they have this religion for Kim Jong Il, but now it's for Kim Jong Un, and I, I didn't fully understand that Kim Jong Un was that person. It's hard to explain. I automatically assume Kim Jong Un goes to Switzerland, and he sees what people are like, and he thinks they're decent. And he's a human being that exists in the world rather than a human being that exists in a royal family that's very small, that revolves around killing people that definitely can involve torture. And that's the thing about Otto Warmbier. I know for a fact that if I went to North Korea, I'd take that stupid poster. And that's what bothers me so much about them torturing this guy. I mean, he was that good of a student. Um, he worked really hard to get to where he was. He definitely didn't go to North Korea to go plant any bugs, that's for sure. I mean, he didn't go try to hack people, did he? So, um, I mean, I'm, I, I, I have, me on the other hand, I'm dealing with these Pakistani people and Indian people and um, South Korean people that hack a lot <laughs> and, uh, and, um, and Europeans, oh my God, I have to do, um, and Russians, and then combine that with um, people from other countries that will kill you in your country, like Russian intelligence for sure. But uh, apparently I've been on Kim Jong-un's hit list ever since I made an audio recording that was sexually provocative that encouraged him to masturbate by sticking things in his butt. And I was basically trying to control him sexually it was, I was kind of being Kim Jong-un's dominatrix, but it was comedy. The whole thing was a comedy, and more than anything, what I was thinking as I was making it was, um, the more time I spend on this, the more time they're gonna have to spend translating whatever I said, and that's gonna take up a lot of manpower all over the world, because I knew that people were hacking me because I wasn't good at security back then. Um, all right, so, um, what am I actually talking about? Um, I think I'm trying to talk about what North Korea wants to be like going forward. Um, because th there's a real, very real question, do you want to be the type of person that tortures someone um, just because um, they're an American and they wanted a poster? I mean, I, I, you can't tell, I mean, so, so at some point someone has to ask themselves, do you really think this guy is a spy? He wanted a poster. Like, wouldn't you want a poster if it, it's like, it's like proof. It's like, bitches, I went there. It's like when you go to the top of a mountain, you take a picture, be like, I climbed it. It's a huge mountain. This mountain is so big, I climbed it. Let me take a picture. You want to prove, it, it, it's like every, like when I traveled in, in Egypt and Israel, everywhere I went, it was like by myself, there, there's proof. There's proof I did it. it it's the same thing as taking a poster. So like, you vicious, like, I mean, were you having fun torturing him? And that's the thing, like, I have always had a relationship with Koreans, at least in my mind, because I've, like, where did I become a real adult was Colorado. And one of my good friends was a Korean guy. And um, what I do know about the Koreans is as Christians, they have this love for the North Koreans, even though the North Koreans want to kill them. And they don't, I don't think they understand that. Um, but then they also, I mean, if there's anything I know is the South Koreans, well, they're a bunch of pieces of shit. But really, they have had a problem with you guys being part of this religious cult that, um, I mean, really, at some point, who believes in Kim Jong-il now? I mean... 34, how much do you want to bet that if this guy played 18 holes on any, like, par 72 course, that's, a, like, I mean, let's just say the average par 4 is 300 yards. The average par 3 
is 150 yards. The average par five is 500 yards, all right? So if Kim Jong-il, his first time golfing, plays on this course and he breaks 100, do you know how much money I would give you? Every single penny I have earned from all my YouTube videos. You know why? Because I know how hard it is to putt. And I know how hard it is, it is to not go out of bounds. And I know how hard it is to not go in the water. And that's why when this guy says he shot 34, and I'm like, yeah, you might have shot like 234 if you were actually counting all your strokes. Then, then I, it's like, all right, if there's anything I know is that your cold is based around someone that wants to lie to you about golf. And it's like, why? Do you, do you know what I, do you know if there's anything I know is I didn't program my program. Like I basically copied a book and then I wrote it in computer code that somehow worked. It was like, I can't believe it works. I can't believe it works. That, that's pretty much how my code was the first time that it actually worked. So um, I'm not sitting here taking credit for this. I mean, yes, and, and that, this is the guy that's from the 2000 year old religion that, I mean, seriously, you have no idea what we're capable of. I mean, I, I, I would be shocked if we don't have video of Jesus getting freaking crucified back in the day. And then I was get, going into the, because no one was there when we took him out of the tomb. So, because he wasn't dead. And so if we were taking him out of the tomb, can't we videotape it? Yeah, we can. That's the crazy thing about people that had technology that long ago. Did we videotape it? I don't know. We'll see. Dare to dream. All right. So, Cat Temp isn't going to be uh, Secretary of State. Um... She never quit Fox News, and that means, and Dana Perino is not going to be spokesperson either, because she didn't quit Fox News, but it doesn't mean they can't join the campaign still. Um, yeah. I, I just am really disappointed that North Korea is like that, because, I mean, I think a lot of people don't know how to talk to these people, because it's like trying to talk to a Christian. It's like, are you too stupid to be able to have a conversation with anyone other than someone that worships you know, Kim Jong-il or, or Jesus.